All right, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm actually gonna be showing you how to install Cache OS and then using Neary desktop um, with DMS. So this will give you the full process, you know, from, from scratch, you know, trying to see, get everything set up. So basically we're gonna start with just installing Cache OS. And there are a few, there's like a couple of different options that you want to select when installing Cache OS to have like the best experience. I would suggest going with Grub in case you want to you know, actually take advantage of the snapshots that are created. And so we're just going to go through this whole process real quick. All this is, you know, pretty standard for installing a Linux distro. And I'm going to erase the entire disk. Definitely go with ButterFS. So you can use uh, either uh, TimeShift or uh, Snapper for your backups. And then we're just going to erase the entire, you know, disk there. And I'm going to go with no desktop so I can actually install everything from scratch. So you can go to next. And what I typically do is actually uncheck cache OS packages and the shell configuration because um, sometimes the different shells that the configuration that they, you know, install may conflict and the, the path that they use for these configurations um, often conflict with uh, adding new configurations to your system. So uh, I do normally uncheck both of those to have a pretty base model configuration to kind of get, you know, started with. And then I leave everything else, you know, the same with no actual desktop or anything. You could go through here and um, unselect things that you don't want in this area as well, because uh, it, is, it is quite, you know, a few packages that probably all won't be needed. But, you know, it's completely up to you if you want to go through here and uncheck some some options that are, you know, not, not, not necessary for your specific configuration. So then let's go to next. And we're just going to fill in the info here. And go next and go ahead and install. And while that's installing, if you've been enjoying my content, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to help me uh, continue to do this, you know, long term and you want to support me, you can do so at ko-fi.com slash the black dawn. So I'm just going to let this installation go through and then we'll be back when we're ready to reboot. All right. So we are on a fresh install of uh, Cache OS. We are going to Go ahead and install Neary and get it set up. I'm going to go with uh, DMS today as the shell, but I kind of just want to show you how to get things set up real quick and easy. So what we're going to do is actually just in, go ahead and do an update. Make sure everything is up to date real quick. There we go. So everything is now up to date. And then we can go ahead and install um, the packages that we need to get this up and running. And we're going to install Neary, and we will need the XDG desktop portal GNOME, because that's the um, the one that they use. And then uh, by default, Neary does use Fuzzle, and I believe it's Alacrity. Um, so we do need to have those to kind of navigate the system out of the box there. And then we're also going to install DMS shell um, get, and then the, uh, quick show, um, uh, sorry, we're going to go get all of those installed real quick. It's going to ask us, you know, which one, cause we're on cast OS. It has a couple different variants. Um, doesn't matter super much, um, which one you go with, but I typically just go with the extra package there and then we'll go ahead and get all that installed. Uh, so it looks like I spelled um, alacrity wrong. So we're going to go ahead and it's just 1L, I believe. Go ahead and install that. All right, so now we have um, alacrity installed and majority of the dependencies. Um, one thing I did not install was a actual greeter. And for simplicity, we're actually just going to install um, SJDM um, for our login manager. So I can do a sudo pacman s SJDM. And so we'll go ahead and get that installed. All right, so now that we have that installed, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a sudo system ctl start. Well, first we'll enable. And then we'll do a sudo system ctl start sdvm. And then as you can see, we're brought to the login manager here and uh, Neary is already selected because that's the only thing we have installed right now. And then I can go ahead and put my password in and log in. 
and then we are brought Neri. So obviously, you know, Neri is extremely basic right now, but you do get this important hotkeys option that uh, pops up to give you exactly what you need. I can open uh, the terminal uh, with Super T. So now, you know, the terminal is that Alacrity terminal that we installed previously. And so what we want to do is actually, we can either use Nano, really whatever you want to use to actually view the, the file. So if I do a Nano, and then we're going to do the tilde to do the home directory and then do dot config slash neary slash config dot kdl and then that's going to bring us into the actual configuration for neary here and then what i'm going to do is actually just go down to where the startup commands are all right, so here are the startup commands. So right now it's just spawning Waybar. We didn't install Waybar, so that's why you don't see anything as far as uh, that being spawned. Um, but we can actually just do DMS and then run to get DMS to run on startup there. So that's what we want. And then if you don't want that you know, pop up with the uh, commands to come up, you just want to uncomment uh, this part where it says skip that startup. And then what we can do is go ahead and save that and quit. So we're just going to do a DMS run. Then it's going to initialize and start it. And so now we have this greeter here, you know, steps here to get started. It's just showing all the different features and stuff. And then it does sh show some warning here that we are missing a couple, a couple different uh, dependencies. So it's saying we don't have a uh, Kava Matugan. So Matugan is just going to be an optional uh, feature. If you do want that, that's going to be able to color your background and stuff, you know, based on the wallpaper that you have selected. And then Kava is the audio animation thing that you can see in um, different things. So these are all warnings. So these aren't, these aren't going to make it not run. And then uh, quick shell, which I thought we actually um, installed, but let me just make sure so we do have quick shell installed unless it wants the git version so we can do all right so now that is installed we can run it again um so yeah so it does want the git version um so do install you may have to reinstall that Then we can go ahead and do next. Uh, and then we, you can choose, um, you can configure uh, keybinds from here. So there's no DMS shortcuts configured. And then you have display options, theming. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and click finish um, so I can show you the rest of this. And then, so what I'm gonna do is actually log out and then log back in. So DMS can you know run on startup and not have to worry about having the terminal open. All right, so now as you can see now, you have DMS uh, running and it's running on startup here. And then as far as configuration here, we can open this. I like to use a uh, kitty as my terminal. Um, so I'm actually gonna install that real quick so I can use that instead. So sudo pacman s kitty. All right, so now I have kitty installed. So what I'm gonna do is actually go back into, go back into nano um, dot config neary config kdl. And then we're just gonna go down to the actual, so we're gonna go down to the actual key binds here. And then as you can see, we have fuzzle and alacrity here. So what we can do is actually update this to kitty. And then if you want the actual display to change for that, you can change that to kitty as well. And then we're going to save. And so now when I do mod T, it actually is open kitty. But I actually don't like those these window bars at the top here. So what I'm actually going to do is actually update that as well in the window rules section. So as you can see here, this is where your uh, where your window rules um, start are right here. So we can you can uh, set your default um, column width um, for different windows and stuff like that. So these are ones that are like preset already. So if I go into this geometry section here, I like to change this actually to nine, and then I will add the draw. Draw border with background false and go ahead and save that. And then uh, for the actual border itself, can actually set that 
Uh, I believe focus ring is the one that is on by default. Um, so border, yeah, border is off right now. So we can actually comment that out and then actually turn off the focus ring. So you can get the actual like border color to be exactly the way you want to. I prefer the border over the focus ring itself, um, but you can change these colors uh, to whatever you want. Um, I typically use a specific one, which is capuchin colors. Um, but you can look up whatever, you know, colors and stuff that you want for this uh, for yourself. But that's the ones that I like to use. Um, so now you can see I have these, you know, border colors there. Um, and then you can turn shadows on if you want as well. Um, so we can get the, the default shadows there showing. And then a couple of things that I like to change, you know, these are all, you know, completely optional, but you can go through and change the things that you, you know, want to change within your system. But I'm just kind of showing you what, you know, what I typically do on a fresh installation here so they have the focus column as never which i do typically use but i do also like to add in here to always center center single column so this way when you actually open a, a new window so if i go to the other workspace here and then i spawn a new window now it's going to open in the center instead of you know directly within the window itself. And then the other thing that you, you want to do, like I was saying, to actually get these uh, the title borders to go away, you actually want to add, um, you actually want to add the preferred no CSD um, option to see here. So you can just uncomment this out. And then as you can see, a lot of a lot of these things are actually, you know, very well explained in the actual configuration here. So you do have to kind of just read a little bit of the uh, descriptions here to you know get exactly what you want but you know it's it is fairly easy to actually do so we're going to save that and then if i go ahead and close that and then open up a new window you can see i now don't have the bars around so i'm already getting um, a little bit better you know looking you know setup here within the the near configuration and a lot of the other things you, you're, you're wanting to do is actually with like the dms bar and actually bar or whatever you know shell that you want to use with your configuration you can you know, configure those you know separately within their settings here so th there's so many things you can do with these i've had some videos that you can um, go through and see what you want to do with that but that can really you know make your actual rice look even better by you know updating your bar and stuff um, but um, right now i'm just showing you how to get things set up within your um, near your configuration instead of having to um, from start to finish there so yeah so and then you can um, go through here and see what you know binds and stuff that you want to change or you know configure differently um, a lot of things are already you know set up for you as far as like you know moving windows and, and changing workspaces and all those things are already you know set up in here so if you want to move workspace up and down actually page shift and uh, page up and page down which is a, a, honestly a, re a really weird default <laughs> for that so it's so yeah that's actually a really you know interesting one to be able to move there so i normally do mod control and up and down to move through mine but you know it, it's completely up to you what you want to change and make your own but this is how i would get you know my windows acting the way that i want them to and then as far as uh, navigating through the system, I know you do have the option to change the width of everything. So if you want to uh, change your actual presets for that width, you would go up. You would go up here, and like we said, we already did, did the no center ever. If but if you want that, you can change it, and then you can change your actual default column width here. So it's 0.5, which is like the the half screen option. You can point that, change that to 0.7 or one if you want it to go full every time. And then you can also change your presets down here as well. So if you want to add a preset or change it, if you don't want this last proportion to be, you know, this one. So typically I actually change uh, this first one to be one and then actually just, actually just cut that and, and paste it down here. And then we go ahead and save that. So now the widths when I do mod R will be the ones that I have preset there. I think those uh, make more sense to me, but obviously you can change them to whatever you want. And then I will change my my gaps up here to match the gaps that I put in the layering rules um, previously. So yeah, so I mean, other than that, you kind of just want to go through this entire um, you know configuration kind of line by line and start changing things that you want to change. Um, if there's anything specific, you know, you can definitely ask in the comments below. But overall, if you want to get you know a, a similar look like that, I that I have here. These are the changes that you, you would go through and make and to get the DMS, you know, bar and everything running 
as well. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for data, today's video. If you enjoy my content, please consider you know liking and subscribing. If you want to support me um, in my journey, um, you can do so at ko-fi.com slash the black dawn. Anything helps and is much appreciated. Um, but other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.